Welcome to another Manhattan Review. I want to talk about Silverhawks, okay? Big news about Silverhawks, controversial news about Silverhawks. Uh, before I go into that, I do want to mention, I finally got my In Frank We Trust Flipper Frank sticker, okay? It's, there's a little bit of glare here, but uh, I have these on the store right now, including some shirts, including the Mad Hatter shirts as well. Um, sometimes people are like, hey man, you should promote your stuff more. Um, I don't really do it often because, I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not a good like, I don't know, I'm not a good salesperson. I'm more of a, I don't know, uh, artiste, okay? is that Does that sound a little too snobbish? I don't know. I feel like if people want, they can just find the stuff, but I should promote that sometimes. If you want to support that, support the channel, you can go do that. You can also support the Patreon. If you like uh, uh, this, these free videos I'm giving you, you want to support the channel, you want more of that, you can go ahead and do that because I will be doing at some point some kind of a live weekly or bi-weekly uh, bi a live thing and then an after-hour thing. So if you want to support the channel, uh, you can uh, do that. Um, and if you want some uh, exclusive stuff or exclusive streams and all that, sell, sell, sell. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, go into Silverhawks here. Okay, so Super 7 um, is, uh, they just put up the order for their new Silverhawk Wave 1. Okay, and... Um, this was very, very controversial. Let me go over what they're selling first, and then we can talk about why there's so much controversy with this stuff. Uh, so uh, on their website, uh, Silverhawks Wave 4, it's 280, 65 for Buzzsaw, 65 for the Silverhawks, and then 85 for Monstar. I think it was 55 for those other three guys. Um, and now it's up. So they bumped up the Silverhawks themselves and Buzzsaw. Um, the Silverhawks uh, have VAC metal now, by the way, and um, Buzzsaw... I think he's just a color swap, so I don't know why he got upped, okay? Maybe green, lime green is more expensive, but uh, Monstar looks like he's still the same price. But if you get it on Super 7, now I actually think this is a smart move that Super 7 is doing. If you get uh, their bundles now on their store, you get these like uh, uh, head uh, packs with these exclusive heads. And this one has this one right here. And... Um, I think you get, uh, uh, so you get Quicksilver and uh, Steelheart, and I think it's like more neutral faces than the angrier faces of the other one. And then you get Monstar with the kind of like slick back hair. I, I, that's supposed to, I think, simulate uh, how the um, how the cartoon, uh, sorry, how the toy was. If you had the old toy, you can flip him from Monstar robot-ish form to, uh, you know, the, the form with hair, and you get an extra, an extra bus saw head. So... They're selling it on their site right here. Um, if you want it, you can get the uh, you get it for 280. Get the exclusive exclusive head pack. Now, there's been a lot of controversy with the, these Silverhawks, okay? Um, specifically because these are vac metal, and um, it has been uh, said many times. And I'm saying it has been said because supposedly, okay, I wasn't there, and I don't remember this being said on whatever interview, but. Supposedly, Brian uh, Flynn from Super 7 had mentioned that they couldn't do VAC metal way back when, okay? Uh, now, I personally am not that or wasn't that interested in VAC metal. Um, I was fine uh, having them be animated style, but my disappointment is that the ones that came out, specifically Quicksilver, doesn't have that animated style. It's a little flat. I'll tell you what I would have liked uh, if my opinion means anything. So take this Utram right here from NECA. Uh, I would have liked if the Quicksilver that I'll put here just had these kind of like cell shading lines and this kind of like finish. Okay, this is not chrome. It's not a, a vac metal out um, uh, figure, but it's very, very obvious by all the paint on there that uh, he has that texture. So I would have been fine with something like this, some well-placed uh, white shines and, and black shines and whatever you call those things. All of that would have made me feel better about that... Uh, that Quicksilver, and also the face. Uh, there was some, I don't know, something off uh, uh, with the face. But I know that a lot of people did want um, the, like, vac metal because they wanted to simulate uh, the toy, okay? Um, I, again, I'm on the record that I, vac metal didn't mean that much to me. I was always more of a fan, I think, of the cartoon than I was of the toy. But uh, I didn't want to talk about this whole thing about variants, okay, and how we feel about variants. Um, so, variants are in every line, okay? Variants are necessary 
really to make up the cost of tooling, okay? Because when an action figure comes out, okay, a little little less than Hatter right here, um, <laughs> they it, it costs a lot, okay? The tooling costs a lot, as I am learning even with this Flipboard stuff, okay? Lots of money to make those things, okay? So um, uh, to, to recoup some of that money, you come out with variants or repaints or whatever, and that is supposed to uh, defray some of the cost of the uh, action figures. Now, in action figures... I feel like you have variants and you have things that are like redos, okay? Uh, a variant, for example, is, you know, they had uh, the uh, uh, Turtles in Disguise and then they took those same molds and the, the Turtles in the Sky were like dark green and then they um, produced like a light green four pack. Same mold, light green, okay? For $150 uh, last year, I think it was during Holothon or whatever. That's more like a, like a variant, okay? You don't necessarily need both okay if you have the dark green do you need the light green unless you're like a completist completist like sick in the head like me i don't think that you need both okay and that to me is sort of like i feel like it's an acceptable uh variant a redo is more like i think like uh april okay so april a few years back they did the april two pack with april and the foot soldier and uh you know it <laughs> It wasn't that good, okay? The head was very big. Um, I have uh, been on the record many times trashing that figure. <laughs> and uh, uh, when you see the new one, or the new one that just came out a few months ago, it's very obvious that this new figure is great. And that is like a redo. Came years after the fact, a redone, and just better. So again, I I'm just trying to differentiate th those two things. There's also like official redos like uh, Yamaguchi does that a lot where they'll release like a Venom and then they'll release like ver uh, version two of that Venom and it's the same figure but like they fixed all the stuff that needs to be fixed I don't consider that a variant that's kind of like a redo okay by the way I love opinions on this as well um so why is this Silverhawks thing controversial and what can be learned moving forward because I'm all about learning and and trying to get better as an industry because we love this hobby so uh, what was different about this one or was there anything different about this one first thing as I had mentioned I think uh, um, people were saying that they were told by the head of the company and again I cannot verify that I don't know where that came from but they were told that the vac metal could not be done okay so with that information, many of them probably bought the Silverhawks that were there because there's not a there's not an influx of Silverhawks merchandise, okay? Uh, we're in a strange time where we had two companies making Silverhawks, Ramen Toys, which I don't know if that's happening anymore, and then Super 7. But 30 years before that, nothing, okay? No real Silver Silverhawks. So there was a lot of people that were like, well, if these are the Silverhawks we're going to get then I'm just going to get those, okay? And then, hey, look at this vac metal thing. If that's the thing you always wanted, then you're like, oh my God, what the hell's happening here? Um, second, and um, it, it's connected to what I just said, they wanted to support the line, okay? Um, not buying it was not an option for a lot of people, myself included. Uh, I did not want Silverhawks to die. Same reason for Thundercats. Dude, I honestly... There's a lot of Thundercats on my shelf that I love, and there's ones that I'm like, I wish this could have been better. Uh, Chitara's one of them, and I'm just like, uh, but, but there's not another Chitara. Where do I get another Chitara? There's not a giant influx of companies that are making Chitara uh, or making the Thundercats at all. So that's another thing. It's like, I'm supporting the line, but then another thing comes out, and maybe I want the other thing. Third, I think, is time, Okay. Um, when these variants or redos or whatever come out so close to the one that they're quote unquote better than, I think it just rubs people <laughs> the wrong way. Um, the Batmobile is a, a perfect example of that. The Batmobile, by the way, I consider a redo, okay, um, infuriated a lot of people, myself included, okay, because they released a Batmobile, gray canopy, and then right after that, months, two months, I think, pre-orders for a much better Batmobile, okay, uh, with 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 uh, all black and the, the comes with Michael Keaton, uh, pissed a lot of people off, and a lot of people might not come back from that. Uh, April, the NECA April, not as much. It's been years since that first April came out. A lot of people didn't get that April. There's been so many products in between. I think uh, the consciousness has has died down. And again, I think it really helped that a lot of people did not get her, okay? These VAC metal ones, even though they're coming out next year, because there hasn't been that much Silverhawks product, they almost feel like they're right on, on the heels of the, first, uh, uh, of the first wave. And I think 
because of that, they make people go, what the hell? I just got in this first wave of what I consider subpar uh, uh, Silverhawks. Why is this uh, new thing coming out? And that's the one I wanted anyway. So similar, by the way, to Thundercats toy variants. Uh, Thunder Super 7 has a, a, um, a line of variants for Thundercats too. They're doing like toy versions of Lion-O, Mumra, um, Groon. And um, that wave that was all toy versions uh, got bashed pretty hard too. Because I think, um, as opposed to like NECA, which releases a lot of products, so they have a lot of product in between, with Super 7, because they only release so something every now and then, you feel it a lot more. So when you see them take up a whole slot with variants, you're like, what the hell? Like, I, 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 can you make that a separate line? Because I want the other ones to release. So I think because the output is a lot less, you're feeling it a lot more versus like, let's say, even G.I. Joe, which releases like tons of variants. I mean, tons of Destros and this and that. But I think it all goes back to a lot of people thinking that um, was never going to be these VAC metal versions. Make no mistake, I think Hasbro would get bashed as well if they told everybody, well, we can't do a chrome head Destro and then uh, one comes out. So uh, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to these things, but those are the factors that... I, 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 uh, I think about in terms of like variants and redos, I think you have to be very, very careful with that game. You can't flood the market for sure. You can't do them super close to the other uh, uh, releases. And you cannot <laughs> on record say that the, 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 the version that you wanted, VAC Metal, can't be done only to release that, that, that version, okay? Um, and again, I feel like I don't have that much skin in the game because the VAC Metal ones were not ones that I really desired. They're too chrome for me um i would like to review them if i could i don't know if i could swing it but um uh yeah so i just wanted to mention that and just to give you guys the news that the silver hawks were there i'd love your opinions on variants um they are a necessary evil okay um redos as well uh you know there's a lot of people that miss out on the first uh rung of things um i i know that this also pisses people off to collect for value. But my personal opinion is collecting for value is, um, that's a dangerous game anyway, okay? It's, uh, uh, I know a lot of people that got NECA stuff. <laughs> I know some people that got the NECA accessory sets and then when, you know, uh, uh, NECA is like, oh, we're gonna release more, they're like, what the hell? I, I think that y you do that at your own discretion. Value is a very dangerous thing. You should just, I think, collect the thing that you wanna get. but. I would love to get some opinions um, on how these things could be more streamlined. How could this Quicksilver, uh, uh, not Quicksilver, Silverhawk situation have been better, okay? Could they offer some kind of discount if you had the original wave? I don't know if they can do that, okay? I, I, but I, I would be open, not open, I, I would love to just see what everybody thinks about this because obviously this kind of like rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So there's going to be a lot of opinions and there's going to be a lot of uh, they did it right, and a lot of they did it wrong, and I don't know that anybody is wrong, but here's what I do know. Sometimes, sometimes, it's very important for a company to be able to, how do I want to say this? To be able to read the room. Read the room of the public consciousness, okay? Before you do something, just think, is this, how will this be perceived by our customers, okay? I can tell you with complete certainty that had you shown me that these vac metal things were coming out, uh, it was going to be controversial. Maybe that's what they want, okay? Um, it would be nice to have something that acknowledged that, uh, that uh, helps make uh, the medicine go down. I don't know what that is, but um, it's always very good to be in touch with your customer with your customer base, because that is the future of, uh, of toy companies, okay? All the upstart ones, the thing that they're doing right, like the ramens and the valas and this and that, are the ones that show that they're really connected to the fan base. So let me know what you guys think about the Super 7 Silverhawks. Uh, also, let me know if you're in on these, okay? Um, I'd be curious. I, again, I'm kind of on the fence. And by the way, too, I had heard from many people that the vac metal might start peeling off after a while or if you pose it too much that scares the shit out of me too especially for 65 dollars a pop i would t treat that thing like a fucking statue but uh let me know what you guys think comment subscribe drop me a like see you next time Bye bye